I'm Patty oh, Bowden. How are you? Boy, good. <laughs> we got Beth Marcus in the house. We do. We do. <laughs> We're going to have a great show. <laughs> Beth Marcus is a foster mom superstar. Beth, how are you feeling before we start this show? I'm feeling like a dog mom. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's got a chihuahua, a very active and energetic chihuahua named Bree in her hands. We can't wait to show you. Uh, we're going to have a good time here on What's Barking Local. I keep thinking when you said that about who's that Saturday Night character, Saturday Night Live character that goes, Superstar. Remember Who that? is that one? Remember that, that girl that looked like a little high schooler with the skirt, Mary, was it Mary Alice or something like that? I can't remember. Do you know that one, Harris? Yeah, Superstar. <laughs> Tina Fey used to play her. Tina Fey. I'm never up that late anymore. <laughs> um, all right, ladies, let's have a good time. We oh, my gosh. Harris, you direct the show. We're ready to launch when you are, sir. Okay. Bree is ready. I see that. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at her. She's posing now. She's smiling. You ready? Oh, my gosh. She says, I'm a happy she girl. She is absolutely smiling. Wait till you see this chihuahua, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're going to have a good time on this program. Brandon You're going to want Davis, a whole sack full of them. Doesn't it look like you're supposed to? Folks in Keswick <laughs> watching right now, welcome to the program. <laughs> Folks in Gledmore, hello. Thank you for joining us. All right. Guys, welcome to What's Barking Local. My name is Jerry Miller. Thank you kindly for joining us on a gorgeous Wednesday afternoon in Charlottesville, Central Virginia, the Commonwealth, and the country. Yay. What's Barking Local is the water cooler or the epicenter of everything positive <laughs> with animals in our community, and it's powered by Animal Connection. For more than 17 years, there's one all-natural pet store that is proudly supported proudly stood strong and proudly championed our community. And that's Patty Bowden's Animal Connection in the McIntyre Plaza. Holy smokes, Jerry. <laughs> Why don't we, on that note, welcome Patty Bowden to the program. She is the star of our program. Welcome back after a brief Yay. hiatus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. Relaxed, ready to roll. You're back from Montana. We are. Tell us about what happened. Oh, we had the great pleasure of riding with uh, my horsemanship mentor, Buck Branneman, who uh, back in the day, the, the movie The Horse Whisperer was written about. So I got to ride my horse with him and have some fun, did a little fly fishing, did a little kayaking on some beautiful lakes, had, met with my ranch family and old friends and just had a big time. I love it. Judy yeah. Rudke, I'm going to mess up your last name. She says, I can't wait to see Beth. we got a number of yeah. people jumping on board, including Pamela Gower, good friend of the program, <laughs> Erica Renee watching right now, the SPCA watching All right, right Erica. now. Oh, we will friends. get to uh, Beth Marcus in a matter of moments. Before we do, okay. the week that was. Patty Bowden. Well, we've, we're going to skip the week that was and move on to the week that is. Uh, there is so many things going on uh, dog-related this week. First of all, I want to say happy National Mutt Day to all the mutts, uh, all the American <laughs> classics. Uh, if you go by Animal Connection today, we are giving away free goodie bags, and there'll be plenty left. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, <clears throat> is Pints for Pups, and this is happening at Three Notch Brewery from 5 to 8. They're going to have dog treats. They're going to have beer specials, so you don't want to miss on that. Uh, the, they do give money to the Charlottesville SBCA uh, during this event. Let's see. Friday night, uh, Dogs Deserve Better Blue Ridge is going to be pouring beer at Fridays After Five. And one of my favorite bands, Mama Tried, if you like Grateful Dead music, they're going to be there. So um, that's going to be really fun. Um, what else is happening? Uh, coming up... Um, we are going to be wrapping up our Christmas in July for Caring for Creatures, and we're getting close to 1,000 pounds of dog food, nice. which is pretty nice. We're, we've got a little bit more coming in next week, so we're going to do a final tally next week. But that, that program is doing really, really well. Uh, some things that you're going to want to know about um, uh, from the Charlottesville SPCA, uh, along with National Mutt Day, they are doing an adoption special. So you want to go to their website and learn about that. If you're thinking about a dog, this is a great week to do that. And coming up, they have something really unique. If you like home furnishings that are beautiful and <coughs> antiques, uh, Kenny Ball is having his barking lot sale. Nice. That's coming <laughs> up uh, in a couple of weeks. A caring, uh, it's, uh, excuse me, it's coming up this weekend. The caravan will be there. Uh, he's donating a portion of the proceeds, but, you know, he's got beautiful antiques from all over the world, and 
it's just fun to go and look and support uh, the rescue groups. Um, there may be, we're, we're working on um, a Green Dogs Unleashed event. I can't tell you everything about it, but it just might include a little... Erica awesome. Renee's watching yeah, right now. Yeah, <laughs> it just might include about 12 puppies at Animal Connection for a little yappy hour with a whole lot of dogs. So, you know, you know more on that to come. So, if that's not enough, and it darn well ought to be. <laughs> if that's not enough, we have Beth and we have got more. Marcus in the mix. Let's right. thank some of the people that are watching and excited yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. Erica Renee says, hey, Beth. <laughs> Erica, Finn, Zoe, Ali, and Eden are watching the right now. Family. Oh, boy. <laughs> Judy says, I'm live from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I can't wait to see you on the show. <laughs> Pamela Gower watching in South Carolina <laughs> on Hilton Head as we speak. Give the show a like and a share, and let's give Beth some, uh, some love and the spotlight. We will get Absolutely. out of your way. Who is Beth Dunlop Marcus? <laughs> uh, I'm here because I'm a foster, a dog foster mom. I used to foster kittens, but I don't do that any longer. I've specialized. And um, in 2006, my husband died, and my life changed dramatically. And I ended up at the SPCA to do something in his honor, met Suzanne Kogut, who was the then di the director, and she taught me about fostering. I'd never heard of it. And I quickly realized that it gave me a purpose when I felt so lost, and I've been doing it ever since. And Patty and I were talking about, I think I might have done about 500 fosters by yeah, now. Yeah, I was talking with Erica at Green Dogs, and she, I think she said something like over 260-some just with Green Dogs with Green alone. Dogs unleashed, I mean, right. that's a lot of dogs. And that doesn't count the SPCA. No, no, or, we, we think it's over 500. Or Animal Connections Rescue. I've and Animal Connections, them. and dogs deserve better. And dogs. You've helped out with them. Well, or, I've transferred, oh yeah, I did. Well, right. no, somebody else, Erica took the dog in that they saved. Right, Yeah, right. and then she had her puppies. So. What is it you love <laughs> about fostering dogs? Well, the main thing is it saves lives. Every time you take a dog out of the shelter, and now I'm, fo I'm fostering primarily pregnant moms because at a lot of shelters, if a dog comes in pregnant, they euthanize it. Or they let it have the puppies and then euthanize it. And that's just difficult to even think about. Mm. But what happens is when a dog go goes into the shelter, they are not in a normal situation. It's very stressful. And right. some of them become sort of unadoptable because they're so fearful or sometimes they just bark all the time. There are just so many different reasons why I do it. But now I do pregnant ones because there's no way I want to keep all those puppies. <laughs> I can't wait to see them find yeah. forever You're not homes. tempted. Yeah, I'm not tempted any longer because I do have six of my own. And Zach, my oldest dog, was my first foster dog. Wow. Story. I know we've yeah. been kind of rude. We forgot to introduce... introduce Bree. Oh, one well, of three. I was afraid she was going to steal the show. <laughs> Tell us about Bree. <laughs> well, right now I've got three little chihuahuas with Green Dogs Unleashed, and they are part of um, the Cheese Puffs. A hoarding, <laughs> yeah, a hoarding case, and they named all the dogs that they took in after mm. cheeses. So she's Bree, and I've got Parmesan and Colby at home. I wanted to bring all three, but. A little bit much. She's been quite a handful this morning, this afternoon. Well, she knows she? how to run a computer. Yes. <laughs> she was on my computer, but she yes. was not that heavy, so it made no big deal. John Wine and Keswick, welcome to the show. Aaron King, thank you for joining us. Jessica Pastormek, Sandy Fuel, the automotive titan. Richard Fox, who ran for Delicate, watching right now. Beth, let me throw this to you here. What are some of the personal um, and emotional and spiritual gains that you get? from fostering dogs. I mean, oh. I think it's gotta be so spiritually rewarding. It, it's just fun. I mean, I, from the time these puppies are born, watching them develop, we've lost a few. Um, there are ups and downs, but I would say 95% of the ups are ups, and 5%, there can be problems. Well, you know, it must be kind of like Christmas, because when you have a dog of mixed breed, and, they've got, and they're expecting a litter of puppies, you have no idea what's going to it's, emerge. And yeah, it's like Christmas. That Christmas is, puppies. That's what I find the most exciting is just seeing what, what do they pops look like? out. <laughs> right. How about the challenges? I mean, because you have six well, of your own dogs. Yeah, and my six are very tolerant. 
They, the, when the puppies are about five or six weeks old, I usually start integrating them with mine. They go outdoors, they meet each other. A couple of mine love the puppies, mm -hmm. and a couple of mine could care less to even have them anywhere near them. And they, but they also teach them manners in that they'll maybe snarl at them and they'll back off, and that's the right thing that they're mm -hmm. supposed to do. So if I get a litter that doesn't have a mom, it's good that my dogs start training them how to behave. That's right. Yep. I love it. You know, it's, it's sometimes it's, dogs just seem to know what their jobs are. For instance, at our <laughs> store today, uh, Colleen brought her lovely Great Dane, Lucy. And Lucy lost her, her buddy last week, another Great Dane named Winston. And so we, you know, we decided, you know, maybe Lucy should come to the store. And we kind of explained to her, you know, you can be a store dog today. And you can almost hear her going, what does a store dog do? <laughs> you know, and so we tried to explain to her, well, this is your job. You're going to be a greeter. <laughs> What's a great, you know, all these different questions that a dog might have. And, you know, and sometimes it, when she, Colleen's been working on her walking and she's been a little bit fearful of other dogs, she's been a champ today. She mm -hmm. has been curious and engaging, um, not the slightest about worried. And we've had a lot of dogs in today, you know, coming for grooming or just to say hi or get their National Mutt Day treats, what, you know, whatever it is. She's been a champ. I love uh, it. And she, she seems to understand, oh, this is a cool job. This is, this is what I'm supposed to do. We have uh, a number of comments coming in. Oh, boy. Well, bring them on. And She's if available. You, if you, <laughs> if you want to relay a comment to the esteemed panel, put the perspective on the comment sections on any of the seven Facebook pages you're watching, and I will share it to these lovely ladies. Beth, you're going to love this comment, okay? Oh, boy. This is from Dottie Mace, who is watching. Dodie. Dodie Mace. Dodie <laughs> Mace. She says, please tell Beth that Dodie and, uh, is it Tessa? or Tess. Tess? That's a little dog that I saw online that was left in a garbage can on, uh, on 64. Remember no. that? Oh, my gosh. Not that one. It's a little chihuahua, but with big ears, a chihuahua mix. <gasps> she ended up getting her. Dodie says. Oh, my gosh. Please tell um, Beth that we're watching from Atlanta, and in parentheses, are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. And you look smoking hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See? You have we're Erica Renee. Erica Renee's got a message for you as well. She <laughs> says, Beth is an amazing blessing to this community. She has helped so many moms and babies and has made um, Green Dogs Unleashed able to say yes to saving so many lives. Beth, you're a superstar. Thank you. <laughs> uh, a lot of comments coming in. Let me throw this to you. Do you have a favorite dog breed? Mutt. Mutt? American <laughs> classic. Mm -hmm. why, why the mutt? Because you're saving some lives? Um, they, they just seem to have less issues. You know, they're just, they're easy. Beagles are wonderful for families. I just had, mm -hmm. I just fostered 12 beagle puppies, two moms with 12 puppies between them. Wow. <laughs> and they were just the most wonderful little dogs. Yeah. You know, and they were not, they aren't purebred beagle because one of the adopters did the DNA test and it was a beagle Rottweiler mix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mostly beagle, but there was, I think, 12 and percent Rottweiler, which we go, are you kidding me? <laughs> wow, you, you just go, how does yeah. that even happen? <laughs> and what happens also with pregnancies, a mom will be impregnated by more than one male dog. Mm -hmm. So you can have two puppies that look like one type of breed, two puppies another. I mean, it's a crapshoot, basically. You know, we've always thought about having those DNA testing kits at Animal mm -hmm. Connection. I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, I mean, what you have them. But if you're just curious. You're curious, right. You know, it's, it's, They're it's a fun. mystery, that. <laughs> Why'd you pivot um, from fostering, you know, cats and dogs to just dogs? Because cats are actually easier to foster. And right now, like at CASPA, we have such an, we're overrun with kittens. Charlottesville Alamo SPCA. SPCA mm -hmm. Right. And what happened was I had an, there was an accident with one of my current dogs, and they don't like cats, so I just uh -huh. don't do it. Yep. But it was easy. I had three bathrooms upstairs, and I, I, one time I had 17 cats and kittens 17 in the three cats? bathrooms. Wow. Three litters. <laughs> <laughs> and they're fun, they're easy, because they're sort of housebroken immediately. Yeah. Yeah, fostering kittens is just as important as fostering dogs, and it is a lot easier. But now <laughs> the really young kittens are very fragile. The dogs are, the little puppies are a little, a little tougher. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. a little easier. They're a little stronger, I guess. Oh, my gosh. How do the folks in your neighborhood respond to fostering so many animals? 
Uh, let's not answer that. <laughs> uh, but you live, You're going to plead the fifth. You live, you live in the country, though. So no. You, yeah, she I moved. I moved, moved into town. Yeah, she moved oh, into town. Oh, I did not and know that. We don't no, talk I, about that. <laughs> I did not know that. Morgan oh, yeah. Thompson, welcome oh. to the program. Give the show a like Morgan and a share. Morgan has one of my former fosters. Really? And her mother has one of my friend's former fosters. Two, both. Oh, no, one was a green dogs. One was dogs deserve better. I drove eight. Uh, dogs deserve better puppies up to Maine to be adopted. Wow. And the mom, and she took care of my, took care of them in New Jersey when I overnighted, and she kept one of them. She adopted one of them. I think it would be really cool to have a family reunion of all the dogs oh, that. and all the families that have That's dogs that you've, I would you've fostered. That. I would love to see that. I think that would be really fun. That is a great idea. Yep. And if, you, if you're able to capture them <laughs> in photo or video and send them to us, and it's her call, it's her That's show. Right. We can feature them on the show. That's right. We, can, we I am ready to start posting. In fact, uh, Angie Gunter and I are working on that for the next show. We're going to be showing, you know, a few adoptable animals. I, I love they're, it. Yep. They're looking for my dog Zach's picture when he was at uh, the shelter. His name was Chandler. Chandler. Oh. He said that it's in the records there somewhere. Thirteen years ago, I fostered Chandler, and now he's Zach. Gail oh, Dieter Jean, goodness. welcome to the program. Thank you for watching, folks. Watching in South Carolina. North Carolina and Atlanta across the Commonwealth and DC and Long Island right now. And who knows where else? <laughs> Can I throw to you if there was a foster where you were ever like, you know, I'm just going to uh, give us the stories about the fosters that pulled your heartstrings and you're like, I can't give these guys up. Uh, well, Zach, <laughs> Zippy, Booger Dog. Booger, Booger Dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> and those, those are the ones, of course, that they call them foster failures, but they're really successes. <laughs> and let's see, my other dogs I Booger adopted. Dog. Oh, no, Peanut. Peanut was actually adopted and escaped from the adopted, her adoptive mom's house. Oh, wow. Never made it in the house. I ended up finally finding her two days later. And just, she was so frightened. I said, you're coming home, Peanut. And she's been home with Aww. me ever since. She didn't match my color scheme. All my dogs are black and white. Uh -oh. And she was brown. <laughs> uh -oh. One of but these things is not like what, the other how does a foster? How does a foster dog pull your heartstrings? Um, they, all, they all do. They all do? Every once in a while, I'll have some that chew up all the woodwork. That doesn't pull my heartstrings. <laughs> Novi Behrens, welcome to the show. Joni Ornstein, welcome to the show. Misty Jensen, welcome to the show. We have a quote from Angie Gunter Harris mm -hmm. of the Charlottesville Alamo SPCA. Um, we just played it. Talk to us about you this did? amazing, amazing well, quote from Angie. Well, I mean, it, it's Angie. I mean, there's so many good things that we could even say. Do you do you, you have it on screen, Harris? Yep, has it on screen right now. You want to read it? I you we couldn't do all the life-saving work that we do without fosters like Beth Marcus. She has saved 256 lives by fostering for the SPCA. Beth is a true hero for homeless animals. It does make it over 500, then. Mm -hmm. It does make yeah. it over 500. You bet. How does that make you feel? Yeah. It makes me feel good. <laughs> I mean, I'm not special because of it, because I get so much more back. I mean, it... Waking up every, I mean, there's some mornings I'm tired because when I have a litter, I have to go down. There's a lot of cleaning involved. I will say it was easier when I was at the farm and I had my <laughs> farm manager helping me. Oh. <laughs> I could be gone for the day and he'd take care of the midday. Right. What is that? Oh, my gosh. But I, I mean, I just, it's, it's been such a joy. This is the best, the best behaved chihuahua I've ever seen. Isn't she All, cute? Do you know what? All three of them are. Really? They're pretty much housebroken. Yeah. They do, if I leave my bath mat down, they think it's a pee pee pad. Okay. But, oh. <laughs> but otherwise, they're, they've been really good. They've just started barking when mine bark. They're, they're becoming part of the pack. I've got them upstairs with mm -hmm. mine most of the day now. See, it's, she's it's, watching now. It's, right. Yeah, it's interesting about uh, you know, foster dogs, rescue dogs. I mean, there, there's just sort of a different feeling about them. I mean, yes, when you get a puppy into your house, you know, there's, there's that kind of feeling. But it's almost, you, you can really feel the gratitude. You know, for most animals, even if they're shy, even if they're wary, even if they're, you know, they're not quite part of the group yet, but you can still feel there's something different about it. And they know they're not it, quite sure how to accept it yet. They're not sure where their place is in the pack, but, but, but you get good vibes from it and you, you know, you can the feel that I, they know, they know they're being helped. Right. The right? hound that I took from Dogs Deserve Better, who was on a chain, I didn't foster her, but 
I took her up to Maine, and they didn't have a foster ready for her, so I said, well, I'll just take her because I was going to be up for the week. I came this close to bringing her back home with me. Uh-oh. Had I not had neighbors who are not real wild about my dogs, I thought, I don't think a hound dog, that, that's all that kept me from keeping her. She adored me. That's Aww. another thing. The foster dogs adore me. <laughs> well, you, they you know. have good energy. <laughs> they yeah. can sense yeah. your energy. Right. And I could sense your yeah. energy. I'm a big energy person. As soon as you walked in, as soon as you were here, and I came in your energy, energy sphere, I was like, positive. Like welcoming. Absolutely. Cool. You are cutting into my nap time with this Easy going. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, this What's little that? business, you get a lot of people <laughs> yeah. watching. Erica says Morgan's mom adopted Cherry. Right. Um, how about this? Are there there's so many amazing rescues and nonprofits in our area? Like we have a lot mm -hmm. of them. Um, and a lot of them are totally foster based. Right. Mm -hmm. They have no place to keep animals. Green dogs, dogs deserve better. There's a new one for dachshunds called K Kids Rescue. K Kids. In fact, I I took a dog from from them that had three puppies. <laughs> we need to tell them and about Dog Fest. You yeah. should tell them about yeah. Dog Fest. The best, uh, most fun outdoor party for dogs. Yeah, we, we had 12 animal rescues connection. last year. We can have more. And there's, of course, yeah. Animal Connections. Mm -hmm. She gets all the cute little dogs. Oh, yes. I fostered for them. I think Karen specializes in finding she cute does. little the dogs. She does the cutest little scruffy dogs. Karen Straley, you're a rock star, Karen too. Karen Straley yeah. is yep. a rock star. I love the uh, yep. accent, and I love yeah. how she's to the point. She's like, hey, you know, I just love that <laughs> aspect about her. Is there, highlight all the rescues that you like. And I know we're not going to leave any out. You know, just highlight some that come off the top of your head. Well, the local ones, there's Dogs Deserve Better Blue Ridge. They take dogs off the chains and try to, mm -hmm. and they try to help the families keep their dogs in a better fashion. Mm -hmm. There's uh, Green Dogs Unleashed, which sort of specializes in deaf and blind dogs. There's Animal Connections, who specializes in cute little dogs. Mm -hmm. These are all foster. Of course, there's CASPA, Charlottesville right. Albemarle SPCA, which specializes in all dogs, all cats, right, rabbits, everything. guinea pigs, parrots, yeah, you name it, <laughs> all of it. Remember uh, Jonathan Livingston Seagull? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Golly, they used to have a is he still there. around? No, no, he, he oh, was he, at the he old flew. building. Remember? Oh, he he flew the coop. Yeah, um, <laughs> I hate to forget. And K Kids Dachshund, I've been involved with them. There, there's, there's more, but I just. These are the ones I've worked with. Wow, I mean, I'm, I'm getting more and more requests now for dog fest. I mean, Virginia Paws for Pits, uh, the German Shepherd uh, Rescue, the Lab Rescue of Richmond. There's that Ring so Dog Rescue that does the pit Ring Dog bowls. Rescue, yeah, right? Now they're coming to mind. Right? I mean, there are just so many of them out there, but that's good. And that's one cool thing about dog fest is we can have you know, all these different groups there, and you can meet these people and see their dogs. You know, we're, they're allowed to bring dogs that are good with other dogs. And if you are interested in volunteer opportunities, you know, you can talk to these people and, you know, see how you can give back. We should give the who, what, when, where, why of Dog Fest. Yeah. Oh, Dog Fest is... Around the corner. Yeah, it's around the corner. Yeah. It's, it is Sunday, September the 29th at Ix Art Park from 12 to 5, and it is going to be a big party. It's the best <laughs> outdoor party for dogs. We That's have a right. Live band. Yep. Pollux will be there. We have a microbrew uh, made for us by Three Knots Brewery to, that um, gives money back to the rescue groups. Big dog Blondale. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, mm -hmm. Let's relay some of the comments. A lot of comments coming in. Um, you have, ladies and gentlemen, Alice Pete giving you some positive attention. Thank you for all that you do for the pups. Beth, I'm loving the new computer. It's a big help. <laughs> she actually does all the Green Dogs Unleashed oh. applications. She right. does all the computer work. Yep. Nice. You have another comment coming in from Caroline. Is it Grassy? Oh, yeah. She says, go, Beth, go, with 10 <laughs> heart emojis after it. All right. <laughs> um, if you want to relay a comment or a message to Beth, put it in the chat box. I'm happy to do it. This show, live on seven channels on the I Love Seville Network. Bellamy Brown, who's running for city council, is watching now. Kelly Dye, the banker. Chrissy Hawkins, City Stokes Scott. A lot of people watching. Um, Beth, I really appreciate... One more comment. Colleen she's, Wise she's Owens. Ants in her pants. Colleen <laughs> Wise Owens says, Beth, thank you so much for all you do. You're helping save the lives of animals every single day. That's at Animal Connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you most, um, when, when you're bringing dogs into your home and you know that they're potentially there for a short period of time, I'm always curious of like the vulnerability aspects or like the emotional side of people. Do you have to put up almost like a, like a wall around your heart 
and say, don't fall in love with this animal because they're going to be here for a short time? Or do you just like ride the ride as passionately as you can for that period of time? Yeah, I'm just hardcore on that. You know, I know why I'm doing it, mm -hmm. and I know they're going to be leaving. It, it doesn't, it used to be something I thought about in the very beginning, but I've been doing this for 13 years. So I just, every once in a while, I want to get close. Jerry, it'll be like when you have a daughter giving away your daughter at her wedding. I have it'll a, be yeah. just like that. I have a 16-month-old <laughs> son, and I'll tell you what, it's a challenge. I love him yeah. to death. Well, when but you if have, we have a daughter, daughter, if we have a daughter, that's that's a conversation for another day. Because uh, my wife is watching right now. I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> you have invited a rock star to this show. What's that? You have invited a rock star to this well, show. Well, yeah. I mean, oh, we don't mess around. I absolutely love it. All her friends are rock stars. I, you do have a lot of rock stars. Matilda, we were showing a cat picture right now. Um, I just love everything about it. You've made the show fly mm -hmm. by. Um, what's in store for the rest of 2019 for you? What do you have on your uh, event calendar from a Fostering. dog standpoint? I mean, we should give some props to uh, the Critter Ball. Well, That's right. I it's coming. Say, I, do, I have a table at the Critter Ball, so I'm going to do that. We used to, remember, we used to auction dogs at the Critter Ball. I remember that. Remember that? One time I had these cute little black furry ball, furry balls, balls of fur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, in fact, Marty and Carolyn Betts ended up with two of them. Somebody oh else wanted it, won one in the auction. I don't know what they've got going on. I know we're, I know but we're going, but I don't know. You're going. Yeah. We're the Critter Ball. Making an appearance. Got to dress up. What do you love about the Critter Ball? <laughs> I drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember and a lot. That's why we're friends. <laughs> yes, I drink a lot. They always have there. they always have nice wine there for mm -hmm. me. Is wine your beverage well, of choice? It's at Pippin Hill. They mm -hmm. they, they have great yeah. food. Yeah, Pippin Hill is uh, fantastic. Yeah. It's really nice. Lynn does a great job. Um, Will Vanderlyn, welcome to the show. Janet's watching from the Bagel Ladies. Why don't you give Janet? Oh, hi, Janet. Some props right now. Do you recognize this uh, beautiful necklace? That's right. She has on? You see oh, that, yeah. Janet? Tom? This is from is the Bagel Ladies stand at the farmers market. Yes, yeah. ba Bagel Ladies Bling. And they, <laughs> they used to make these, they were, they're compassion bracelets. They actually put these together themselves, and then they would donate the proceeds to Green Dogs Unleashed. Mm -hmm. I love it. Cynthia from the Bagel Lady is watching as well. Yeah, Will hi, says, Cynthia. I love, love, love the Critter Ball. That's good there, Patty. <laughs> um, you know what? I just love everything about this show. Um, tell us where we're going to archive this program, Patty Bowden. Oh, it's going to be on <laughs> Animal Connections Facebook page and on Best Page and... On green all dogs. of the and you're in, on Green Dogs, Casper. Charles LSVCA, uh, on the I Love Seville Network. As, you know, we'll you'll find it in, lots of places. We will turn it into a podcast on iTunes so you yeah. can listen to Beth uh, on the show at your convenience. You can catch the video version mm -hmm. on Animal Connections website well, and podcast. also on iloveseville.com. We're now a featured podcast with iTunes. That's big technical uh, words. We're That's getting something. We yeah. got we got invite. <laughs> Getting a lot of traction here. Um, this is the. I've uh, never seen a podcast. I don't even know what well, one is. Well, you listen to a podcast. Yeah, you can have it in the car. Oh, is that a podcast? Yeah, yeah. we'll send you the link. Oh, okay. So the first oh. podcast that you ever listen to is the one that you're going to be on. But I, I listen to this if I debut. know you. Yeah. Okay, I, there you go. I hear about podcasts, but don't you have to download an app for it? You have well, you have it on your phone already. I do. Yeah, yeah I'll show it to you once this show's over, oh, and okay. you can listen to it while you're hanging with your dogs. Give me a kiss. Right. <laughs> uh, what's Barking Local is powered by Animal Connection for more than 17 years. Your epicenter for everything positive in the animal community in Central Virginia, in Amaral County, and in Charlottesville. Go visit Patty Bowden in the McIntyre Plaza. Patty, how about a teaser for next next week's show? Oh my gosh. Well, I would if I could. I've still got a vacation fuzz, so I don't, I don't even know. I'm going to have to go look at my own website, and, and I'll let you know. Okay. Animal Connections <laughs> got the calendar there. Um, <laughs> Janet Dom says, absolutely adorable, Beth. Cynthia still makes them, and they're available at the market. Oh. Cynthia says, hi, Beth. Still do sell them <laughs> and right. uh, donate. Cynthia and Janet, we love you at I Love Seville. I mean that. Um, we will archive the show online. I thoroughly enjoy today's program. Thank you kindly for joining us. All right. Hi. Yay. Way to go, Bree. You did a great job. <laughs> very, very She's awesome. just starting to get ants in her pants. <laughs> you, gotta, you have to probably use the restroom, don't you?